Good morning, what's going on you guys? Welcome to Gdansk, Poland. We are super excited to be here. We heard so many great things about this beautiful port city, so we had to come and check it out. Today we're going to be discovering if Gdansk is worth adding to your Poland itinerary. We're going to be exploring the old town, uncovering its history, eating some delicious food, and seeing if the beaches here are worth a visit. Let's start with some breakfast. So we arrived to Gdansk by a high-speed train. It was super easy and convenient and very nice actually. It was a little expensive though. It cost us around $40 a person, but there are cheaper options. They were just sold out because we're traveling a little last minute. So book your ticket in advance. All right, anybody who goes to this university, what are those? Is that like a study pod? I have never seen anything like that before. Huge. We should have shared one. So we came to this restaurant, Mannequin. It's basically a restaurant that serves traditional Polish crepes. I believe they're called Nelishniki. We'll put the official name up on the screen. So look how amazing this looks. We both opted for savory instead of sweet. I went with Mexican chicken, Tommy went with spicy, because we have a sweet treat planned for after this. But time to dig in. Ooh. Oozing the cheese. This is amazing. Woo! Super spicy, savory, cheesy. Fantastic. Great find, Sammy. Thank you. Tell me that's not the best breakfast you've had in a long time. This is so good. These crepes are just to die for. If you come to a dance, definitely come here and have breakfast. Mm. Can't finish it. Wish out. That's how it goes sometimes. I'm finishing mine. That's nothing new. <laughs> This little skinny girl always out eats me. I don't know how it's possible, but I wish I had her jeans. <laughs> Sammy, last bite. Well done, baby. That's impressive. I wasn't even close. Bravo. Earwas. You are the champion eater. <laughs> it's so spicy. Oh my gosh, my mouth, my lips have like the ring of spice around them. It's so good. All right, off to explore the old town. Yeah. Okay, that was such a yummy breakfast. The weather cleared up. The weather has taken a turn for the better. Give me on a net Tommy is so PO'd at me. I'm not mad, I should have checked. It's just as much my fault okay. as hers. Tommy is so PO'd at me because we're waiting on the tram and he said, what tram are we waiting on? And I said, number nine. And number 12 and number six passed like three times. And he was like, Sammy, I don't think number nine is coming. And I was like, looked at my phone and it was number six the whole time. Passed so twice. We waited for like 45 minutes. But now we're hungry again, which is perfect because we've been dreaming about these donuts here. Best in the world. We're heading to a spot right now in Old Town to try them out. We're right yeah. outside of Old Town. Yeah, so nothing a donut can't fix. I'm so embarrassed though. <laughs> Donuts yet? Yes. It smells so good. This is actually our first look at Old Town too. I got the good. I got the rose jam donut that I have been dreaming about since we had this in Krakow, right? Oh my gosh, and it's warm. The traditional Polish donut that has rose jam in it, and then it has like these like fried orange pieces on top. It is literally delightful. Mm. As good as you remember? Yes. This one's almost better because it's warm. I'm not a donut person, but these Polish donuts are like the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. Wow, you sent me to throw away the trash and I come back and there's none left. Thank you for sharing the one bite with me. I appreciate it. Mm. That was divine. 
Bravo, bravo, guys! So good, beautiful voices. So we've just made our way over to Old Town. I believe the route we're about to walk along is called the Royal Way. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to walk through Old Town, but we're gonna take our time and see all the stops and sights along the way. It is around one o'clock, and it is busy, you guys. Like, Very busy. Busy, busy. For good reason, though. Like, look how beautiful this is. I know, and the weather is absolutely perfect. So yeah, let's go check out Old Town. There's like tons and tons and tons of tour groups, so I'm gonna be Tommy's tour guide. So, I was like, we're gonna start with this. Do you know more than me about this? Do I know anything? <laughs> On my sheet, this is the green gate. I think it's because at one point it had green windows. Okay. Did it have green windows at one point? I buy it. I can't see green, so you could pretend like that's green right now. Because of the green windows. It doesn't look green, but let's go. You guys have been watching any of our recent videos we visited so many old towns lately this one might take the cake though all the different colors of buildings even the buildings the little details so much artwork in there it really stands out very unique so different what a stunning place Right here in the center of Old Town is one of its most recognizable symbols. It is the Fountain of Neptune. Now Neptune is the god of sea. This was first erected in 1549. As the legend goes, Neptune got tired of all the people throwing in gold coins in his fountain, wishing for luck and fortune. So it took its trident and crushed all those coins, making them worthless. And that's how the drink here, Goldswagger, got started. It's a famous vodka. It's known for its tiny golden flakes. this old town is very hectic there are so many people here today too many <laughs> but Poland is known for a vodka not a vodka the vodka the vodka, vodka. all the vodkas <laughs> I, I think they have like the biggest vodka selection in the entire world so we need to relax a little bit so it's time to go try some Polish vodka oh, this looks like a perfect spot doesn't it yeah, with your best shot <laughs> so I wasn't sure what vodka to get I'm not sure what's traditional he recommended actually getting a beer, so we got a local beer. Which is more your style anyway. Which is more my style. We're not used to taking vodka shots, that's for sure. And Sammy got the vodka sour. So I'm gonna try hers first. Oh, that is so easy. Very lemony and sweet. I hardly taste any liquor there, but it's delicious. You're gonna love this, babe. Okay, we'll put your head off. I was just taking a sip. Cheers, you guys. It's funny, we never drink drinks and like I feel like I've had more shots in the past two weeks than I've had in my entire life together. That's true. What's, what's the harm in one more? I know. Oh, so tart and good. Isn't it easy? Yes, and it's so calm and relaxing in here. So this other guy at the bar was ordering these little shots, so we decided to give them a try. What was this? Like a lemon? A homemade a homemade lemon drink. drink. Thank you for the recommendation, sir. We appreciate it. It's uh, for you. Huh? For you? Really? Oh, hey, thank gosh, you. Thank oh, you're so sweet. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Annie bought us the drinks. 
What a sweet gentleman he is. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. He did tell us that he had to take it as a shot though, so. Cheers, you guys. Ooh, that's so delicious. Hey, what was he bought them for us? <laughs> I have no idea either. So sweet. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. We'll have to buy him two more. Yeah. How many people is he with? Four people. So should we get six more to do it with him? I don't think I can do three shots. I think I have to drag, <laughs> drag me to the rest of Old Town. I don't mind. Come bear and get. Okay. Oh no. Four more. <laughs> Thank you for the drinks. We appreciate it. Nice meeting you guys. <laughs> Good recommendation, sir. Thank you. We had to repay the favor to that gentleman who bought us the two drinks. I just love meeting people on the road, right? Yeah, that's what travel's all about. It's my, it's my favorite thing about travel. Yeah, it's, not, it's always about the people, not the destinations. I know that's so cheesy to say, but it's the truth. No, it's true. I found that when we're when I'm asking people to take their photos or to be in our videos. It's so nice because you strike up conversations with them and you get to know, you know, where they're from, what they're doing and why they're traveling, what interests them. It's just it's really cool. It's my new favorite thing to do. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Yeah. Hey thank you man. Appreciate it. Have a good day. This street is so different from the other old towns just because there are so many people like performing. There are people with snakes like this oh guy. God. Holy cow, that thing is huge. <laughs> A lot of street performers, musicians. It is pretty awesome. He's not scared at all. He is so brave. It's not Long Street, it's Snake Street. There's been like five people selling Holden. Selling? S selling pictures of snakes. No more vodka for her. <laughs> 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 so I had to go into three different places to find some coins because of all the performers here. The, besides the snake people, there's a bunch of musicians and... Drummers. I have one ready to go now, so... the drummer is a musician. Yes, he is, Sammy. Good call. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something to add. I was wondering if there was like a holiday or something going on here, and so I looked up online. Turns out this weekend is St. Dominic's Fair. It actually lasts for three weeks at the end of July, beginning of August, in the summertime. It's been around since 1260. 1260? Yeah, like wow. literally. <laughs> so it's like one of the biggest open air markets in the world, along with like Oktoberfest and like one other thing. Hey Sammy, it looks like an important building. What do we got? Okay, let me hold on, hold on. Yes, okay, just making sure the pictures. <laughs> Part of the defensive walls of the main tower built in 1605. Today, it's home to the Academy of Fine Arts. So it's an armory of arts. Check out how huge that church is. So this is St. Mary's Church. It is the largest brick church in the entire world. And I think it has the highest viewing platform in all the city. So we're about to go hike up on top of it. All right, we've got our tickets to head up to the tower. It was $4 a person. I think there's 400 $400? Oh, I'm never gonna make it. Such incredible views up here. It's definitely worth the climb. I love how the signs that point out all the major buildings and sites here. And there's one that points out the Gdan Stadium, which hopefully we're going to show you guys in our next video. Oh, I just playing with you, baby. <laughs> she falls for everything. A little too much. <laughs> I think it's time for some food. Food time. That's a good sign. They have all these kegs. 
I know. Okay, so we found this little brewery to come eat lunch. They're gonna have they have craft beers here and I think like a traditional soup. So that's what we're gonna eat. I'm pretty excited. We haven't been in a brewery in a long time, and they have a session IPA. I can't wait to try it. It looks like a, uh, a hazy IPA. A little bitterness, just a tiny bit though. Very hoppy. Do you like it? And fruity. I love it. We did forget to mention earlier that all of those drinks, the ones we got, and the ones that Tommy bought for the people outside, were only eleven dollars. We have ordered a yummy bowl of soup. All of the reviews here just said to order the fish soup, so that's what we did. Lots of tomatoes, vegetable, a clear broth, and mussels, and some fish in here. Actually, it's very mild. It's not like overly seasoned, to be honest. It could use some salt and pepper. Our waitress is so sweet. She brought me an American pale ale to try. Oh, look how cute it is. It's a little glass. Look how awesome this glass is. Interesting. A little sour. I don't think Tommy enjoyed this cute little American pale ale as much as I did. It has a very like tart flavor. I like it. For the main dish, I ordered their duck here. And Poland, on every menu we've been to pretty much, at the nice restaurants, they always have duck as an option. We have to get it before we leave. It looks amazing. Look at the presentation of this dish. It is beautiful. It has beetroot, some apple, some dumplings. Let's dig in. Ooh, that was a nice cut. The meat is cooked perfectly. I haven't had duck in such a long time. I'm a huge fan. This is perfect. Another great lunch. Back to the sightseeing. Let's do it. down this beautiful cobblestone street. It's called Amber Street because they have so much amber jewelry everywhere. What an awesome day exploring the old town here in Gdansk. My favorite we've been to in months. What a beautiful city. We have more things to show you guys though. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll show you guys some ruins and a beach. So we just made it out here to Western Plata. Now this is on the first battles where World War II started. It's only a 20 minute ride outside of Old Town. Only a dollar to get out here. It's an outdoor museum you can walk through and it's free. So as you guys can see, they have these ruined buildings that they since stabilized that you can walk through. You can really see the destruction from all the bombing. As you walk through the outdoor museum, there's a bunch of information about the battle that took place here. It's also crazy to think about how the Polish soldiers held out against 10 times the size of the German army. They held out for seven days. There's also memorials to all the Polish soldiers who died here. Come to this open air museum, see the memorial, but also look at the beach, you guys. It's beautiful. Tommy and I actually have a beach near where we're staying and that we want to go to, so. <laughs> We have made it here to Stoky Beach. Who knew the beaches here in Poland were so beautiful? We have not spent a day at the beach in so long, you guys, so we are very excited about this. We're here on the weekend, so it's pretty busy, actually. It's really nice, though. There's a couple restaurants here on site as you walk in and a portable little coffee stand, so we got our coffees for today, too. Cheers. Cheers. So there's not a ton of people swimming, so I'm assuming it's, it's pretty cold. chilly, but we're gonna test it out. <laughs> Tommy will. I don't do well with cold water. <laughs> I have coffee and water bottle water so I have my essentials right here and a book. Let's test out this water. Woo! Very refreshing is the good word. Oh my lord. What do you think? It's like melted ice cubes. <laughs> I knew for a fact I was not getting in this water and now I know for sure. When you gotta pee so bad you just gotta go for it. <laughs> Woo! 
And I'm so refreshed now. That was really nice. You don't want to try it? You sure? Huh? You don't want to try the water? No way. <laughs> what if I just picked you up and carried you no, in? I would scream. <laughs> I would scream. Bloody murder. Lifeguard! I'm so glad we made it up to take a dance. It was kind of out of our budget here during the summer, but you can see why. The beauty of the town, the amazing beaches, and all the history. So much to do here too, right? Oh yeah, spend a couple, few days here. Mm -hmm. It's worth your time if you're here in Poland. You can also, and sorry I didn't mean to interrupt you, but like another top tip is if it's too expensive, like we stayed a little bit outside of town, the public transportation is amazing. It's really like, it's like a 20 minute tram ride. And that's for all over Poland. It's super easy to get around. Yeah and affordable as well. And it made it much more affordable to stay here. So we stayed for a few days, which yeah. was great. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate all you guys. See you guys in the next video.